those that we are talking about being themselves and then also ourselves that we have to be who we are. But does we, does, does we really you know, do that? Do we really support our own? Do we really support our own? That's the question that also we have to ask. Uh, where do you find some other people who have been really famous and all that, and then just and then they 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 are finished, you know? But uh, were there people who will come to them to say, "Look, we we'll really like to help you so that your career should," you know? And then also we have an example of the country like Jamaica where they've embraced their touch, their music, reggae, and they gave it a rubber stamp and a flag. That the reggae is, and we're proud. What are we proud of? There's nothing wrong with getting inspired by other people's music or culture, but you have to be yourself. I just recorded a live record uh, album, and I recorded this, it was a concert that I did, a live record in the township at my grandmother's place. So that was recorded there in Mamelodi. Uh, my grandmother was the first Chebin queen in Mamelodi. And the music that we played, we played Mkashiwo, Mbakanga, Kwela, Marabi, you know, because I want sort of like, like the one should says this because this is the music that we should proud ourselves with, we should be proud of. And those musicians who were playing, they were young musicians who were playing, like the guitar player Tsulu who played with us, he's played on that record. Young chaps like him, getting deep into the music of their own, the Mbakanga, the Kwela, the Marabi, and all that. So we shouldn't, and, th and that's where money is as well. Those songs with three chords, you don't have to just show integrity that you, know, you can play C minor seven, sus, and B, no, no, just two, three chords, whatever. Yeah, yeah. you know, you, you make it, you know. So we have a lot of songs that we can just sort of like really bring forward. You know, songs from our grandmothers, from our grandfathers, and all that. We have a lot, we are rich. We need to pull that. Then as such, you know, we have those other people that we say, no, you don't want to look at them. They come down here wanting to do collaborations with us, you know, getting our own music and then becoming more bigger than, you know, with our own music. How are we taking care of our own and being proud of what is ours? Uh, look, man, I think uh, we, it's, it's okay to move with the times. But you have to understand the real source. Okay? So maybe some of the other type of music you are talking, whatever, I, I just hear by passing. My son will be playing something that my daughter in the house is like, hey, what's this, you know? And then they turn it down when, I'm, when I come in. I say, no, 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 play it, play it. I want to hear it, you know? And then uh, those who wants to do collaboration with us with that kind of sound, Brahu has done a lot of that. Uh, but you remember I said that you know sometimes you do that and then you know you'll be labeled ah there goes the brother by the wayside. It's it's just what uti or umang you know what you are doing. It's it's not a matter of agreeing to anything. But it's okay to go along, you know. As long as it's something that is got no blasphemy in it, I'm for it. But the source about that drum that you mix, you know, there is a real drum that doesn't come from the technological stuff. And that drum, you have to understand that, you know, in Africa, when they go and do that drum, they are going to cut a tree. And before they cut the tree, they do a ceremony to pray and make a special ritual for cutting the tree to go and do that instrument of a drum. And then it's there. Oh, so you are playing it on the techno, but you are leaving something back there, man, which is something important that you should know as an African. Oh, that's deep, man. I, I, I think, yeah. No, and you know, and, and for me, like, I kind of understood what you were saying, but I think that one of the biggest problems with like aspiring musicians is that we just jump on trends. 
So we're like, oh, hip hop is popping. My piano is popping. Let me do my piano. Bro, you're just chasing trends, man. And then all you're gonna have to do is just keep chasing trends. What happened to the people that put everything into Gom? Gom's gone now. Now it's my piano. And then my piano, is it gonna go? And then you were just jumping on a trend. So like the, the problem, and, and, and it's aligned with what Bravus is saying is that not enough of us do digging. Not, ev- not enough of us do soul searching about who am I? Forget about the trends, man. Forget about the sounds. F- like what comes out when you close your eyes and you hear a song? Is it my piano? Because you need to shut yourself out from the world in order to find out who you are. And the problem is that we're like, oh, my piano's popping. Let's do my piano. Like, I promise you, dude, like, that's the biggest pressure that we get being in the commercial scene. Is when, I remember when Mafiki Zolo came back again, they came out with this, like, West African sound that Maporisa was producing for them. And they were like, shucks, should we do that so that we can get a number one? And I was like, never. Like, that's why Mikasa, that's why a lot of people, not a lot of people, I hope not a lot of people, uh, people will come up to me like, yo, Mikasa kind of sounds the same. And I'm like, exactly, bro. We have our sound. Stevie Wonder sounds the same. He sounds the same every time he gets on a record. He sounds like Stevie Wonder. Like, when you hear Mikasa, you hear Mikasa. When you hear Vusi, Bravusi, you hear Bravusi. When you hear my piano, you hear my piano. <laughs> it's not even about Pretoria anymore, bro. It's so sad. It's, 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 that's the thing. It's like, how do you find you in music? And that's the problem, is that it's easy to make music, and then we all think we're stars. But it's not easy to birth a star is it's because you need to do a lot of soul searching. You need to understand how they made that drum. And that drum took many things. And that, that, I mean, that's deep, man. That, that, uh, that no, is for, truth, for the, for, for the foundation thing, the Vusi Matasela Music Development Foundation, you know, we have a school. And uh, we are also uh, with another institution that is really uh, working to hand in hand with Vusi Matasela Foundation, UNISA, the students are there. But our thing is, our motto of that is Africa teach your children ancient songs so that they should glorify the spirit of collective good. I borrowed this from one of our favorite African writer, Ngungi Wathiongo. That's why you must read, guys. And that's all she's thinking. Uh, teach your children ancient songs so that they should glorify the spirit of collective good. What is the spirit of collective good? Unpacking the Ubuntu. Or somebody opening up a cafe, then you call it the Ubuntu Cafe. And the uh, Ubuntu, which is about, you know, every day's kindness, helpfulness, you know, uh, love, empathy, sympathy, uh, togetherness, you know, patience, uh, forgiveness, uh, humbleness, about the uh, reconciliation, redistributions of morals and skills. <laughs> 